Hi everyone, it's Samantha from Prepped and Polished. Thanks for joining us today. Today, we're gonna to go over three tips for last minute studying for the SAT chemistry test. Tip one is take control and make a schedule. Making a schedule is an immediate stress reliever because it puts you back in the driver's seat and jump starts your studying. How many hours at this point can you reasonably devote to studying? Take stock of all that you have coming up, tests, quizzes, your extracurricular activities, and make an assessment of when you have times that you can commit to studying. Don't put your GPA in jeopardy, school comes first. But when you've figured out which days you can devote to studying, make a commitment to study during those times, even if it's only for a short period. Tip two is study what the SAT chemistry test tests the most. Last minute studying is about getting the most bang for your buck. If you can, grab a Barron's or a Princeton review and go through it and see what subjects are actually on the test. If you don't have access to one of these, no worries. Go to the College Board website and they have a list there too. You don't wanna spend precious minutes studying something that isn't even covered. Use your class notes, previous texts and quizzes, and your textbook to cover the subjects tested, beginning with structure of matter. This includes inter and intramolecular forces, valence electron theory, bonds, and your periodic trends. Then move on to states of matter, which includes your gas laws, and then stoichiometry, which includes moles and balancing equations. Next, study your reaction types, which includes redox reactions, acids and bases, and your solubility rules. Then move on to descriptive chemistry, which includes your properties of common atoms. These lists are not complete, so please go to the College Board website for the full list of topics covered in each category. These five categories will represent 80% of your study time. You wanna look at the other three remaining categories and spend time writing down their main points. This leads us into tip three. Tip three is don't just read, rewrite and redo. Even though it takes more time, rewriting your notes and redoing problems is more effective than just reading them. As you're going through your notes and studying, make sure to rewrite all of your formulas, rules and trends. This is also going to give you a cheat sheet that you can review for a half hour, either the night before or the morning of the test. Redoing problems will also keep them fresh in your mind and help you move quicker on test day. Just remember, short-term or last-minute studying is a time to review the concepts that you already know, not learn totally new things. You're going to probably encounter subjects on the test that you've never seen before. The College Board created the test knowing that students will not know all of the topics covered during the test. Therefore, you can still miss a few questions and get a perfect score. Remember, you've mastered most of these concepts in your classes already. An organized review will help you get your studying under control and get you prepped to do your best on test day. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. For more information, you can visit preppedandpolished.com. Thanks for watching and good luck studying. You're gonna do great.